just saying how this shit gon' go My last bitch, she broke my heart, I'm trying to D.I.E. My fallen soldiers up above, I hope you are R.I.P. And I'ma be the one to take you down my legacy What's cracking, YouTube? I'm here with Dan. You see all this wood we got in the back? So we're gonna build this boxing ring. I'm thinking a 12 foot by 12 foot. We're just gonna build the platform right now. I say about what do you think? About a foot off the ground. About a foot off the ground. Cause I know everybody around here got a little bit of beef, so we're gonna settle it in an actual ring. Like this is gonna be like professional. Like there's gonna be mats and stuff on there, so nobody gets hurt. I I'll even provide the gloves. If you all want headgear, I got headgear. I got all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start building. All right, so we cut the baseboards out and everything. We didn't have no 12 foot boards, but we're gonna make this work. We cut one inch, you can see right here. Cut one inch boards, and here's the seam. So we're just like this and just nail it together. It'll be sturdy and everything. We'll put brace boards and everything, but this is what we got so far. As you all can see the picture now. It's big, it's definitely big. I wasn't gonna go with the 10 by 10, but I don't know who's all gonna be in here boxing, so I was like, we'll make it, we're gonna make it one time, make it right. So I think 12 by 12 actually looks a little bit better. So right now, we're about to nail these brace boards together. We are, you know, and then, and then we're gonna cut out more brace boards and put them in, so then the plywood can sit in, and then nail it more, and we got more support, you know what I'm saying? So we just got the frame done of the first piece of plywood we're gonna set down. So we're gonna throw this plywood on there right now, and we're gonna screw it or nail it down to this. So we'll go ahead and set it on there, and then we'll see everything, if it's like flimsy or not, it's good, we'll go ahead and nail it down. We're gonna finish the rest of this, I guess you could say, little section we got started. And I think probably, actually probably four more vibes. Hope we got enough wood. So about two hours later, actually no, let me say about one hour. Hour? About an hour later, we finally got the face done. Let us know what you think. I mean, I think it's a 10 out of 10 by four. No one around here has got a boxing ring like this. But, so let's go for one, two, three, four, about four and a half sheets of plywood. The bracing is good. I mean, you know I'm going through. But once you put that, on, <laughs> once we put that mat on there, it's actually going to get like, a feel of like the boxing because you don't want it hard when you fall. So it'll, it'll be good. And then I plan on put. I don't know if I want to do six by sixes or like T posts. And then I'm gonna put big rope around it, but put a pool noodle over top so it's actually like. You fall into it, you're not gonna hurt yourself or anything like that. But once it's done, it's pretty sick. <laughs> go, back, go back in the corner, try it out. Feel the room. Well, I'm running straight over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready. Two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> you all can see there's plenty of rooms. But it's getting late outside, so we're gonna take it out, set it up in my yard, and get everything done. So we'll pick back up tomorrow. All right, so it's day two now. I'm still waiting on Dan and Young to get here, but I figured I could go out and get some stain for it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some mats, so we'll be able to box tonight, hopefully. That's all right, if I can get everything done in a day's time. I'm hoping they show up sometime soon, but for now, let's go to Walmart, and let's go get some stain, and hopefully some mats. All right, well, we just got back from Walmart. We got some English chestnut wood stain. I got three little tubs of that. And we went ahead and brought it over to Dan's house. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that picture right here. It was a pain in the ass bringing it over here to Dan's house, <laughs> like a pain. But all the boxing events are gonna be here. We're gonna have chairs set up all the way around it and they're gonna have a table with scoreboards and everything on it. Like it's gonna be for real and everything. And everything's gonna be clean. But you wanna go ahead and just start throwing some stain on? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally just got done putting all the stain on there. I gotta go to Walmart, probably get some polyurethane, and I'm gonna put a big, thick, probably half inch coat over it all top, on the top of this. So it's a big, flat surface. And then I'm gonna sand it and rough it all up because I'm gonna glue down mats and stuff. When I glue down the mats, they won't be able to slide or anything. And then I'm gonna put four pieces of 
rebar all the way around it or a t-post or something and i'm gonna slip pool noodles over top and then i'm gonna use three levels of string and then i'm gonna put pool noodles over top that string so if somebody falls onto it it ain't gonna hurt them or anything well that's going to end today's episode of building the box string part two is coming soon but until then make sure you like subscribe turn those post notifications on because next video it's going to be done but until then i'm out peace